Hey guys, Bill here. You know, the Amazon River monster that's getting a lot of attention these days is the one they call the Paku. Paku come in many different shapes and sizes, but all of them are related to the piranha. But unlike piranha, Paku are mostly herbivores. They use their human-like teeth to eat, among other things, nuts and fruits that fall from trees into the water. Today I'm out with pro fisherman Steve Townsend to find the biggest Paku we can find. And we're going to do it with the help of our boat driver and guide, Stephen Andres. What are you doing there, Steve? I'm getting this shop here at the more easier to get a fish. Stephen is part Arawak Indian and will show us the preferred method of catching Paku locally with a bow and what arrow. What, did you, what is this? You made this out of? I call it a four inch nail. Out of a four inch nail? Yeah. So that's, so let's see, so you put it on the end, like that, yeah. presumably, yeah? And then there's the barb. Oh, you've whipped it, I see, right, you whipped it. And then the string goes down to a bit of mono, and then the mono goes where? Goes oh, through the, through that, and then it goes onto your hand. Yeah, yeah. that's okay. gonna hold it here. And it's tied onto your hand. It's not all right. You can shoot direct straight to the puck. You would have to average like two inches below Below, it's fin, there's it's a refraction, fin, yeah. refraction of the water. Yeah. Okay, now just in case you're wondering, I'm the guy who puts a small camera on Steven's head. And I wanted to do this because I want to be able to look straight down the arrow and see what he sees. Because he's always pointing out Paku under the water to me, and I can never see anything. So I don't know if I'm in the wrong position, or this guy's just got Superman eyes. The Paku they have around our location are called Red Paku. Reds can grow up to 11 kilograms or about 25 pounds, so they aren't small. Stephen will be keeping his catch today so he can take it home for dinner. Paku is a part of the local diet. He got his fish on the first shot. Let's go back over our GoPro video in slow motion to see if we can see what he sees. I don't know about you, but I don't see anything until about right here where you see a slight orange color in the water. But it's only after it's all over. Eight pounds, you reckon? And it's just stunning, stunning fish. Stunning fish in every way. Show me the mouth there. He's, his teeth all broken down and stained in green. That shows that he's a, a vegetable eater, vegetarian. He's been eating all the weeds. And our man Steve just goes and does it. Well done, Steve. Now, the reason why Paku has been getting so much attention lately is because they've developed a reputation for, uh, how do I say this, uh, chomping on men's testicles. Now, I've already covered this issue in my Real or Fake video series, so if you want to check that out, there's a link in the description box. Okay, well, that's about it for this episode of Amazon River Monsters. Now, here's a few scenes from other videos you can watch in this series.
uh, sick and tired of him coming up, coming up the beach every time I'm trying to do my teeth. Okay, you got lovely little house plants here that you can have in your living room. Nice little shiny leaves until you do that. These things will spike you and hurt you. Friendly neighborhood, huh? Welcome to the jungle. <laughs>